Hey folks, I just wanted to make a quick video about starting up an LS engine on a stand using the stock wiring harness. Most of the other videos I've seen on this topic are either 40 minutes long or kind of incomplete, so I just wanted to give a really quick overview of the process. So what I've got here is an LM7 truck engine, but the process should be pretty similar for any other LS platform engine. There's only really three main wires you need, and you can see I've got the stock wiring harness and the stock fuse panel. So that's what I'm going to be going over is what you need on the stock fuse panel to get one of these engines up and running. I'll show you my general setup here hanging off the side of the engine. So you can see I've got the full fuse block from uh, 2001 Silverado here. I've just got the positive cable hooked up to it like you normally would on the vehicle. So you've got positive going down to the terminal on the battery. Got the ECU still hooked into the stock wiring harness. And then I've got ground cables that just go to their normal locations on the engine. And the whole thing is wired up pretty much like it would be in a truck. So the first and most important connection is the ignition power. So this is what would come from your key in the truck when it's in the run position. And that goes into connector block one, terminal A9. And I've got that hooked up with just a spade connector because I don't actually have the large connector block on here. And that goes back to a switch which just switches 12 volt positive from the battery. So when that turns on, you can hear the fuel pump relay clicks on, and you'll hear a few other small items like the idle air control valve turn on and that kind of thing. The second thing is the supply voltage to the starter relay coil. So that's on connector block two here, and that's pin F11. And since that had a wire on it, I just cut that and soldered my own wire onto it. And if you look on the diagrams, this is going to be labeled as coming from the neutral safety switch because the crank signal from the key actually goes through the neutral safety switch. But since we have it set up this way, I can just run it through a button. So it's 12 volt hot from the battery, goes through this button and to that pin there. And even with the ignition off, you can crank the engine with that. The last thing you need is the 12 volt output to your fuel pump and that is actually on connector block 3 right here and that's pin F1. So when the ECU turns your fuel pump on, so if I switch my ignition on, it turns that fuel pump on, it's going to provide positive 12 volt output on pin F1 right here. So again I just threw a spade connector on it and ran it back to my fuel pump. The other end of that 12 volt line just goes to the fuel pump and then I've got a ground wire that is just going back to the ground terminal on the battery here. You can see I've got pressure and return lines for my fuel system and then I've got the uh, Underwriter Laboratory approved fuel tank solution here. Uh, I would make sure you stick with the gelato container Stay away from anything like an ice cream container or a yogurt container. Those are, those are just not up to code, uh, not, not right for this job. So that's pretty much all there is to it. As long as you've got power to the ignition input on the fuse panel, which if you look at the diagrams goes in through the neutral safety switch input, and you've got power going out to your fuel pump, and you've got an input to the starter relay coil, which fires the starter solenoid, you should be able to fire one of these things up on the stand. That's pretty much all there is to it.